Can everyone assemble over here, please? All right? Come on, chop, chop. Is that you two messing around with the bus signs? No, sir. No, sir. I've got my eye on you two. I don't want to hear you've got up to anything silly. Is that clear? Come on, Come on please, sir. Why are you stuck? Come here, Rolly. Push in the flag. like to tell us. What, miss? Oh, about the project. Oh, it's bog like in danger. Bog like in danger, miss. Right. And everyone, everyone will be writing an essay on the subject next week. So I want you to pay special attention today pay attention. so that you'll know what to write about. We'll spend the, the morning down. in our... Now then, we'll be in our group, looking at the animals and the discussing the various problems they have in, oh, in surviving in the that. wild. Oh, and I want you to listen very carefully and take notes. OK, follow me. In twos and singly through the turnstile now. Come on. Keep it up. Come on. Once you're through the turnstile, form up on the inside of the fence there, please. Come on, keep it up there. animal. When fully grown, he can weigh as much as two and a half tons. Please, miss, what will Rowley weigh when he's fully grown? Hey, Rowley, he's a cousin of yours. He's got the same little piggy eyes. Be quiet, uh, everyone, please. I think they're all mean. The hippo spends much of his time in water, coming on land to feed, mainly at night. <coughs> will you? Oh, come on here, boy. Come on here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, you can't talk to them. Don't be dark. Come on, he's looking right at me. It's amazing. I'm so human. Yeah, well, you would think that, wouldn't you? I mean, you and them monkeys got a lot in common. Same little sort of face for stuff. Here we are at the monkeys. Uh, now, these two are from North Africa. At least, uh... It says Barbary Apes on the cage, Miss. Barbary Apes? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, the Barbary ape is the only monkey found in Europe. It lives on the rock of Gibraltar, in fact, on the southmost tip of Spain. Nowadays, all the apes on the rock are tame in our own private thing. It is also called the pygmy ape, or maggot. It is almost tailless and has a long snout. It belongs originally to the mountains... It belonged originally to the mountains of Morocco and Algeria, but it is now better known as the resident of Gibraltar. A hundred years ago, when the number of apes in Gibraltar had fallen to three, several young specimens were imported from Morocco. But by the beginning of this century, there were over a hundred. They became a nuisance, and protection was suspended. Let's go, Grange Hill. Burma, Indochina, Malaysia, Sumatra, and Java. Blimey, look at them all. Squibbling away. What a load of creeps. Oh, boy, it's so boring, isn't it? Must be a right posh old school. Oh, bear up, Maria. Oh, it speaks. What's all done to you from anyway? Boston or something? Oh, very funny. Where'd you come from anyway? Westerfield. Never heard of it. Near Portsmouth. Oh, the country. Is that why you got rosy cheeks? No, that's because he's flashy. Or 13.228 pounds. It is arboreal from the Latin arboreus, tree living. This way, Grange Hill. Hey, Carrot, what's your name? You've got yourself a new girlfriend by the look of Carrot. Oh, shut up. Oh! 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 Miss Mooney? There's the 
Daphne. I can see that, thank you, Annette. Why don't you go and walk with him, miss? Yeah, we don't mind being on our own. I mean, here's your boyfriend, fiancé. Miss? Yes? When are you and Daphne's getting married? No dates have been fixed yet. I'm not being cheeky, it's just, you know, interest. I mean, you are a teacher. And you can talk to us more, can't you, on a day like this? Sort of off duty. When did you do get married? Will you give up work straight away, do you think? Now, why should I give up work just because I'm married? Girls, I do hope neither of you will ever fall into that trap, thinking marriage is the easy way out, because it isn't. You still have to decide what to do with your life. See, there's more to life than that. Babies are, of course, lovely, but... You're having a baby, Miss Mooney? Right, everybody, the seals. Perhaps the best-known family of flightless birds is that of the penguins, containing 17 species. Penguin wings are shaped like curved paddles and cannot be folded, as in most birds. Instead, they are held at the sides or spread out like arms for balance during progress on land. Because the legs are far back on the body, they act as a rudder during oh, swimming, oh, no, the penguin stands upright and walks or waddles very much like a human <coughs> being when ashore. See those ones over there? The body is long and I'll be an air just going to grow up. You know, with proper training. Yeah. Snow day. I want to do something exciting. You're a trapeze artist in the circus, something like that. You can't be a trapeze artist. Why not? Oh, no, look. Look over there. Line, along the fence, quickly as you can. Well, everybody now turn to page five on their project sheets. Page five. The penguin. Penguins are the most completely marine of all birds. They're able to swim underwater. Oh! 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 penguins only not... found in Antarctica. Oh, 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 oh what's that, careful, you? Gordon. What's the matter with you two today? The normal method of travel when they're not... Come on. The emperor penguin, underline emperor penguin, there are 38 rows of scale-like feathers from the anterior, new word, anterior, to the posterior borders of the wing, giving 3,800 feathers. That's close. We shouldn't get some. What? Oh, no, my sandwiches! Here. Are those your sandwiches? No. Are those your sandwiches? No. I mean, yes, sir. What does that notice say? Please do not feed the animals. Oh, so you can read, can you? School party, are you? Yes, sir. Only it wasn't us. It was some boys from another school. Is that your teacher over there? Yes, sir. Come on, then. Well, we'd appreciate it. Look after him. Right. You just don't seem to be able to behave today. So I'm afraid for the rest of the morning you'll have to walk with me. Mr Sutcliffe warned you on the bus. If you behave like a couple of infants, you mustn't be surprised if people treat you like them. It's just not fair, Miss. It wasn't us at all. He's not out of school. Oh, yes? This is a pair of very rare Brazilian hoopoos. Where? Uh, in the wild, they're nearly extinct. But it is hoped that these two will form a breeding pair. They will only breed if the conditions are right, so you can see they've been provided with a specially nice thick bush for breeding purposes. That's what she and Mr. Sutcliffe needs, a nice thick bush. Who said that? <laughs> um, there is only one species of hoopoo -hoo that lives in here. I'm in that job. I'm going to get them right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm not letting them catch kids at my dinner. Yeah, but we'll have to get away from old Mooney first. Yeah. What was the finish then? Well, I don't know, perhaps that would have been. Hi. This looks like fun, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Hi. Had a good morning? Yes, thank you. Look, I know you're cross with me. But we'll talk about it later this afternoon, OK? Not them again. Down, we can get in there. No, I'm not with old Grunt over there. It really makes you appreciate old Sucky for mooning when you see one like that. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. No climbing on the dinosaurs, Westerfield. No climbing on the dinosaurs. <laughs> well, Lee, you know you're on a diet. Not at the moment, I'm not. Of course you are. And Zemo's got a suggestion to help you out. Well, you see, I ain't got no dinner. Well, that's your fault. You should have brought some. I did, Vicky. Only got fit to the poly bed by mistake. So? So, we was thinking you could help us out, seeing as you're on a diet, see? Go on, right? Get us a few sandwiches. I'm starving. It'll do you good. Cheers, Roland. What do you want? Hey, you, carrot! Hello, hello, hello. What have we got here? Hey, Garvey, your girlfriend's calling you. Keep on. She is. Look, go on. You'll have to go and see what she wants. Yeah. Come on, Garvey. Come on, Garvey. Come on, Garvey. Come on. Yeah? I can't get down. What? Reach. Climb up then. I can't, Mr. Stewart won't let us. Garvey! Garvey, get down here at once. I expressly said no climbing on the dinosaurs. But come on, boy, quickly, quickly! I will not be disobeyed, flagrantly disobeyed. No, sir. No, sir, and you can take a detention when we get back to school. They did not have done that. Teachers aren't supposed to hit you, only through the punishment book. Right, clear up, everybody. Just make sure there aren't any papers or cans left on the ground, right? Now, listen, everybody, this afternoon is free, OK? Is everyone quite clear about what time to show up at the bus? Yeah. Four o'clock and no later. Anybody who doesn't show up will be hung, drawn and caught. And uh, Grange Hill, don't spend all afternoon playing on the fruit machines. Use your time to learn something, OK? OK, off you go. Hey, John, they've got space invaders. I saw it when we went past. Hang on, have you forgot? We've got to go and get them creeps first. Oh, that won't take long. All we've got to do is show them what's what. We'll have to get some reinforcements then, shall we? Yeah, Jimmy will do, that way. I'll tell you what, let's go for a drink, OK? Hey? Uh, yes, Janice? I've been wondering, you know penguins live in Antarctica? Why don't they die of cold? <laughs>
now. Wait. Let go! Leave off! Enough done. Try, don't try to be such a big head, right? She ain't got nothing to be big headed about. See? And you remember that. Let go! Leave it out! Come on, let's go. They're only little first year. I don't want to see you ugly mug again, right? <laughs> Anything you say, Tony Pete? Look, what happened to the other two? They ran off, bless us to it, didn't they? Call that big one was a bit handy. Where's my bag? No, they took it back there. I don't remember. Yeah, they lobbed it. It's got everything in it. Oh, I just knew this school trip was going to be awful. I mean, it's got me bus pass in it, me homework, me soccer boots. I just gotta find it. I mean, me mum would kill me if I lost him. Hey, John, look. Oh, no! How did you get there like that? I don't know. Look, I'll go and get the keeper. No, you can't do that. We didn't have to with the keeper as it is. What's in there? See, Lion. Look, John, don't be crazy. You're never going in there. I'll have to. I'll just have to. No. Do you think they're dangerous? I don't know. Look, I'm going to get the keeper. Look, shut up, Zamo. Just stand here and keep watch. I won't be in the water, will I? It'll only take a second. Come off it. for two lads from your school that went in there. What? Don't look blank. Same blazer and tie. Come on, where are they? But nobody else in there, sir. What school are you? Where's you? Don't know what you're on about. No? Well, an idiot from your school just had the bright idea of having a swim with the sea lions and I want to find him. something in your mouth. Why do you eat so much? I don't eat that much. 
Yes, you do. That's why you're so fat. Oh, shut up, you. I expect it's because you're unhappy. Unhappy people eat to cheer themselves up. Then they get fat, then they get even unhappier, and then they get fatter. Look, fill up, will ya? It's not healthy to be as fat as you. Fat people die younger. They get more diseases. I read about it. Where are you going? I'm fed up with being teased, that's what. I'm not teasing you. I'm trying to help you, Roland. I'm sorry for you, Roland. Hey, Jonah. Got some things for your top half, at least. Thanks. Got a manager, bottom half. I mean, people don't carry spare trousers on them, do they? You've no idea what it's like to be wet. And it's all been stuck in his stinky you now. Flipping it. Where'd you get these? Guess who it is. You didn't buy rollies. You more one. Three thirty. Look, stick your head under there, and we'll whisk it back to the coach. If you get there before Sutcliffe gets there, you won't realise you're wet, will he? You? you don't be getting better to the bus. Yeah, let's get there early and get front seat this time. I've had enough of this old zoo anyway. The last zoo's much as you say. Boring. We might as well come too. Suit yourself. I'll say, yeah? I'll give you my address, sure, after sending the money back. Don't panic, I'm gonna send it. Actually, I thought it'd be nice if we wrote to each other. If you give me your address, I could write you a letter. What for? Well, as soon as I live in the country and you live in London, we could... Can't help you mean. Yeah. It's boring. You seem to think everything is boring. Yeah. I mean, perhaps we could arrange to meet sometime. OK. I don't promise anything, though. Mavis Pike, what a nice name. Aye. Carl, oh, look at Garvey. He must be really smitten. <laughs> Shut up. Look at him with all his dress and all. Right, so Tom Lucky? Yeah. Oh, you oh, are oh, oh, you oh, so Go up, Carol Tom, she's wet your pain, dear old dear. Just shut up! <laughs> Very funny, Maguire. A pigeon. 35, can't you mean, sir? Uh, 36, 37, 38, 36. Oh, no. Come, girl, to push off. This seems reserved. What did he say, Faye? I think he said, please would we move our words to that effect. Come on, up ya. Get lost, Jonah. <laughs> There's nothing for it but to take a register. It's too much to ask that they'd all be back on time. Please, miss, I know who's missing. It's Roland. I think I heard his feelings and he went off. Browning, come out immediately. The bus is due to go. Now, come on.
You're lucky we didn't leave without you, you know that. Didn't you bring a packed lunch? Well, surely it wasn't necessary for you to eat another meal. Go away, leave me alone. Roland, what's the matter? Fed up with everything, being too. Come on, no one's been teasing you, have they? All day long, about what I eat, looking like a hippopotamus. And they took my lunch. Oh, come on, cheer up. I know you get a rough time sometimes, but most of the kids mean well. I took my jersey, sir. Better kill me if I don't get it back. All right. And which boy or girl was it? Who took Roland's sweater? Well, come on. Are you sure you didn't just lose it? Well, sit down then, Roland. We'll have to sort this out later. Roland, I saved your place. He really fancied you, that ginger boy, didn't he? Why did you give him the wrong name and address? Maybe Spike, I said I was. He said, what a lovely name. What a moron. You ever sound friendly when it comes to boys, isn't it? I don't understand you. Oh, well, got to show him his boss. Look, I just want to know, is the wedding off or on? That's all. I can't talk surrounded by 60 kids. Trust you, Garvey. Well, that's that. Went off quite well, really. Well, I mean, at least no one did anything silly for once.